Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh, yakshimash. Today, I have got something here that has come a long, 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 long way. Last time you would have seen it was on the bench outside my in-law's house in Australia. Yes, the parcel has finally arrived by slow boat. It's only taken about four months and only cost $80, but anyway, it's arrived. So this is the machine that I bought in Godfrey's when we were in Australia last year. So the first thing we have to do is to unbox it. Now, <laughs> I've had a lot of people say to me, you went to Australia, you went to Godfrey's, you spent $80 on sending back uh, a machine. Why on earth did you send back this one and not anything expensive? Well, that's just the reason why. It was so expensive. Postage from Australia is very, very costly. And this machine was on offer for $90. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I doubt very much there'll be one similar to it or the same in the UK. So I thought I'd bring it back. So this brings back memories because I wrapped this thing up in the good room on the floor and it's arrived safe and sound oh it's upside down but never mind Let's take the packaging off And what do we have here? We have the Hoover 3000 Performer. It's a compact bagged vacuum cleaner, traditional bagged system, four stage filtration, compact stylish design, two litre canister capacity, lightweight with a one year warranty. I don't think I'll be using that. On this side, we have adjustable power control, efficient cleaning made easy with adjustable power control, adjustable telescopic tube, dust full indicator light, which is quite posh for these days. It's a 1,400 watt machine, two liter capacity, 86 decibels, <coughs> power cable length, four meters. Oh God, that is really short, four meters. Um, so I don't know where it's made. It doesn't say on the box. Product code. I suppose it'll say on the inside. Okay, right, let's get the camera closer and let's unbox this little delight from Australia. So I didn't open this while I was in Australia. I wanted to save everything for now. So let's break the seal. Now this reminds me a lot of the dust manager that um, I have. But this is the, well I converted mine to a bag, but this comes as a bag version. So, being a bagged vacuum cleaner, I'm sure it will definitely last longer than a bagless one, as we're all aware. So what do we have? We have a little bit of cardboard. We have the instruction book, the two tools, a really little, dinky, untwistable dusting brush. Stiff bristles, not very nice. This is the telescopic hose with the Hoover logo. I do like the Hoover logo on it, that's nice. Got a nice smooth action on the hose. Chrome, heavy, nice. And it's got, I think that must be for the tool holder. I don't know, I'll find out. Here we have the floor head really rubbishy floor head but i do like the hoover logo on there it's got squeegees dust pickers brushes at the front that come down very slightly castellated but not very big castellations and it doesn't really come down far but comes down enough wheels on the back go round and round the hose oh that's cute Take the plastic off. So the hose is in a lovely fetching prostitute red tights. 
stockings uh, color like the pure power one that I have um, I know that it was mentioned on some other channels that this did remind them of a pair of tights um, a salubrious pair of tights and this also reminds me as well pose doesn't seem very big it is not um, tapered at all it's not a tapered hose it's not very flexible it's quite stiff but that's because it could have been it's kind of coldish in this garage and that seems to make the plastic go a little bit um, harder and finally we have the machine itself let me just take this out remove the box and remove the packaging Wow, it's actually very cute. It is definitely a cute little machine. Let's take the tag off. Obviously in Australia there are no power um, restrictions on machines on there. So this is the 3000 Performer Compact Bag Vacuum Cleaner, traditional bagged system. Uh, that is the variable control button. This is the cord rewind. That's the on and off. Let's lift this up so we can see. Very dirty little bag. Bag slides out. Only one bag with it. Very small, but I have bags that'll fit it. The actual compartment, the dust compartment, is very small. It is a very, very little compact machine. Now, let's pop the bag back in. Like so. There is a filter, oh, sorry, there is a filter here at the back of it, a little spongy little filter. It's all nice and clean. Pop this little tutty little bag in. Fold it down. That clips in very nicely. Let's have a look. Hoover Performer, Model 3000. 1500 watt max, nominal 1400 watt max, made in China, blah, blah, blah. Wheels, plasticky, not very good. The caster wheel on it, again, is just clipped in. That is rubberized. These are like a rubberized, tex tex slightly textured plastic on it. Seems a bit maneuverable what did it say on the back Hoover Hotline Australia one year warranty on it oh there are spare bags I thought there weren't any spare bags so in the instruction book here we have two tools and we have two extra bags that's right that's quite nice we have the Hoover warranty and we have the instruction book that. <sighs> Let's get my cup of coffee. Let's give it a stir. Let's have a look at the pictures of it. See how the tools fit into it. Uh, before you begin, instructions for use, plugging it in. nothing about the tools hoover one year warranty i do like the um vintage machines here on the background look at that that's the australian new hoover constellation so that would have been more kind of like um oh there's even a washing machine there as well that's really nice i must take a picture of that and uh, put it on the um in this um on, on the video but I do like the way they've used the retro pictures on it. Uh, number seven is the telescopic tube. Now, this is the telescopic tube. So it looks like you can only fit one tool at a time. It's got a very stubby little. That's a shame, you can't fit any more tools on it. Uh, what is that for then? There's a hook here, but I can't 
can't work out. So that's the floor head that fits onto there. That looks like there is inside here. There is another filter, a HEPA filter. But I don't know how on earth you would get to that. Let's take that away. There is one little redeeming feature. There is a little roller thing on here. It's very plasticky, but it would help when you're rolling it in and out to help protect the plastic and also the plug. And I do like the way they've coordinated the cable in red. That is nice. And I like the Hoover logo. Inside here, I can see a HEPA filter. But I can't see how on earth you get into it. Remove the plug from the power supply when releasing the hose. Do this by gently pulling on the flexible holes to fit the floor head. Blah blah blah. There's nothing. I've got it says accessories. Fit in the telescopic. Change in the dust bag. That's that little meshy filter. Ah! Right, okay, I've worked it out. Ah, right, okay. Take out the bag, and it's in here. There we go, look, that's it. Well, okay, it's not really a HEPA filter, but it is um, just a little filter there. So that's quite handy. Okay, I know, I know how that works. Still, you can only carry one tool at a time, and I don't know what on earth this hook thing is for. There's no instructions. Hmm, okay. Uh, okay, let's flit, flit, fit the floor head. Ah. No, I can't work it out. Ah. This fits into there. That, God, that's very tall. Fits onto there. And then that just clips into there. Can't carry the tools, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Let's put them there. Let's move the machine over. It's on. God, that button is very dodgy. It's on low, so let's pull out the cable. Oh, that's got a marker on it, so that's good. Yellow, blue, and that's it. Oh my gosh, that cable is so short. Really, really, really short. Right, let me get my adapter and uh, we'll switch it on. So I'm back with my little Aussie adapter. Let's have some coffee. Caramel latte from the Tassimo machine. Let's plug it in. I don't know if it's on or off. We will soon find out. It's on. Right, okay. Let's remove that. Okay, let's switch it on. It's on minimum. It's a screecher. <clears throat> the bag full indicator, not light as I thought it was. Uh, piston thing wasn't it was a bit sticky to be stiff at the beginning but it's working fine now I think it's got a soft start let's try it 
Um, I don't know. Would you call that soft start? Let's try again. It does have good airflow. I have to give it that. It does have good airflow. Let's just give it a quick swoosh on the floor. Too bad for a cheap bagged machine. Let's pop down a little bit of sawdust with couscous. Let's try a little bit of fiesta time. And let's see how it goes. It's on medium. There is also a suction relief valve there on the top. Uh, let's get my oh, that's good. So it fits in there. Does it fit in there? down here? Oh, that's good. So you can actually use a pneumatic. Um, aero brush with it if you wanted to. Let's put the hose down. Let's switch it on. Let's try it on minimum. Again, that does seem to have very good airflow on it. Let's try the aero brush on the floor. Uh, we'll put it on max. Oh. My head's come off. Let's try and squish it on a bit better. There we go. Let's try it now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay. Well, it worked really well using the turbo brush on it. I mean, it's not, a, it's a pretty much a bog standard style machine that you find these days. But the, like I said, the reason I did like it is because it is a bagged machine. People just seem to these days just automatically just go for bagless every single time. And as you can see in there, when he used it a little bit, but uh, it's still clean on the inside. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put it down on the floor. I'm gonna put down some sand. And again, some mess. And what I'm going to do is give it a quick demo with its original, uh, you know, the hose it's come with. I'm not gonna use the turbo brush. And we will give this a full house clean and see how it does. So let's get it on the floor with its tiny, 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 tiny little four meters of cable, which is a tiny amount of cable. And let's give it a go on the floor. Okay, so I put some down on my, some of my general bits of detritus. And if I move you over there, it does look very similar to that pure power. So I'm gonna use it on, I'm gonna do half of it on, well, I'll do a third of it on low power. And let's see. Okay, let's turn it up to medium power. Turn it up to max. Okay, let's try it on the thicker carpet because the floor head, I have to say, wasn't too bad on the shorter carpet. So let's try it on the thicker carpet in Max again.
Okay. Uh, that's, it's not a bad machine for <coughs> an economy one. The flow head on it is not, again, it's not too bad. I just like this because it is a bagged machine. It's a cheap vacuum that's a bagged machine. So, if we have a look. There is a seal around there. No dust ingression. Everything is inside. A little bag. Tiny little bags. I mean, it's only been used for a minute. Like it's, it's not very... Well, my videos aren't scientific, for goodness sake. They're only for fun. Pop that back in. Cute little machine. <laughs> So if you notice, it does it doesn't have what you would call a soft start, but it does have a sort of like a halfway ramp up. Listen, hang on, you'll sort of like hear it, and then it'll shoot up. I'm not sure if you caught that. If I turn it down to minimum, let's hear it again. No, that didn't do it. Let's try medium. It does seem to have like a little bit, not really a soft start, but uh, there's something anyway. Let's pop the bag back in. Voila! Very handy. My little Australian vacuum cleaner. Let's get it back up on the bench and let's finish off the video. Before I do that, actually, I will tell you, this is really sharp plastic. I've cut my hand on it when I was um, fiddling with something and I, I caught my arm on it and it's cut my hand. This, I have no idea what the stupid thing is for. I wonder if it's, ah, oh, perhaps it is to put the tools on, is it? seems to fit up into it. I wonder if that is to hold the tools. If it is, it doesn't stay on very well. But I caught my hand on it and I've cut my arm. I cut my hand there, if you can see. And also my leg as well. I caught it on my leg and it scratched my leg. So that is really badly finished. That's really, really sharp. There's a real sharp bit there. I'm gonna have to cut, use a file and, um, and file a bit down. But anyway, let's get it up on the bench. Okay, so we're back up on the bench with a bleeding leg and a cut hand. That thing is really sharp. Now, there's one thing I found in the back of the cupboard was this. This is another one of the budget range type of uh, vacuum cleaners. This one is an Argos one. This is a large cylinder bagged vacuum cleaner, which is 700 watts. So this little thing has twice the power that this has but the design on it is quite similar-ish this is a couple of years old and this is the obviously the new one i brought back so have i got it plugged in this one which is the lower wattage one. Let me plug this in. Let's switch this one on. This one on max 
has less airflow than this one on minimum. So you can definitely tell the difference on it. Um, this one has bags, which I think, like this, Yep, the same. It's, but this is a HEPA bag. If I tuck that in, the compartment on it is tiny. Let me make sure this is tucked in really well. Let's try that. <laughs> So I have a number of these little um, fleecy bags I'll use on it. This one hasn't been used much at all. Just a tiny little bit of dust in it. But I'll finish off doing the demo when I do the house demo using this bag. So I'll pop this back in because I'm knocking dirt out now. The economy bags, there's no seal on them or anything like that. <laughs> Everything on the inside is jumping around. Right, let's pop this back in. This has got a bigger capacity on it, the dust compartment capacity. They're not bad machines, they're economy machines, but what I'm trying to say is that I'd prefer, if I was gonna have a, um, an economy machine like this, I'd rather have one that was bagged rather than bagless because the bag will offer better filtration than a dust carton would. Um, and it will pro prolong the life of the machine. The, the, the thing about it is lots of people, I, I speak to people all the time in work and wherever, and they're like, oh, what rec bag would, you know, what machine would you recommend? And the moment I say, oh, I'd recommend a bagged machine, they look at me like I'm from Mars. They just automatically, absolutely, categorically, will never ever buy a bagged machine God, I plug it stiff. Uh, they'd never buy a bag machine. Simple as. People don't like using bagged machines. They think that they are ancient and, and rubbish. And in this modern age, of the, everybody loves the bagless ones. Unless you've got the money to buy a really good bagless machine like a Dyson or whatever. Um, the economy ones, I would stick to bagged because it'll last you longer. In the end even this economy one I don't even know if you can get this anymore in Argos I have no idea so anyway thank you very much for watching it was lovely to be able to unbox this my little Hoover from Australia thank you very much for watching please comment like and subscribe please remember these videos are just for fun they are not true try and infiltrate your mind into brainwashing you into uh, vacuums this is purely for fun See you in the next video. Bye, y'all.